So let's imagine that we need to find a piece of data within an unordered array. We have no idea where that data is in the array, but we need to find a specific piece of information, or maybe multiple pieces of information and count up how many there are. How do we do that in a quick and efficient manner when we're looking through an array? This is one approach that we can use for that. So let's take a look at this. Let's assume really quick, we're gonna search through an array Let's assume that we have an integer array, uh, integer array, and we'll call it ray. And we have no idea what data is in this ray. We're not gonna, that's not important. We want to know how do we find a piece of information. So let's say we want to find um, where is the value of 10. is the value of 10. Not the index, but the value of 10. Okay, so we're looking for this value 10. So how are we gonna do this? Well, let's write a generalized algorithm to do it. Couple key things to note is that we wanna know where, not just that it's there, but where is it? So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna write an integer and we'll call this integer value that we're searching for. So this is the value we're gonna search for and we'll give it the value we wanna search for, which is 10. We're also gonna write another integer that is going to let us know where that thing is. So we're gonna write integer and we'll call it where and we're gonna give it a value of negative one because there's no index of negative one. So if we have a negative one, at the end of searching, we know that we haven't found this thing and we can do something. Now we're gonna use our friend, the for loop. This is where for loops become super powerful. So in our for loop, we're gonna go ahead, int, uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and call this index because my sloppy handwriting, it'll be hard to tell what an I is. So int index equals zero. And as long as our index is less than, and this is the cool thing about uh, arrays, array dot length. So just like a string, it's gonna be less than our length, except no parentheses after length. This is because we're actually accessing a uh, constant within the ray, the, the array. And then we're gonna do index plus plus. So we're gonna increment through this. And I'm sure you can already guess where this is going. Here's my curly braces, my opening curly brace. We're gonna write a quick if statement. So we're gonna say if, We wanna say each index, we're gonna go through and search each little square within ray. And we use that using our index variable. So if our ray square braces index, starting at zero and going all the way to the end of our ray, ray index, if he equals, it could be she, if ray, at our index equals our value, in this case 10, then we're gonna wanna do something. Then we're going to want to say where. And our where is real simple. It just equals wherever our index is. Wherever our index is, that's where we found it. Boom, done, we've just found the thing. Now we can do one other thing in here. You may recall from a previous lesson, we have a, a friendly little word called break. And break jumps us out of the loop.
uh, I should say jumps to the end of the loop. So it jumps to the end of the loop, it stops looping, so it stops the loop, jumps us out to the end of it, which is our curly brace down here, and now we can do something with where. So if we, we could do any kind of logic we want to now. So let's say, for example, we could say if our where does not equal negative 1, right? Because remember, negative 1 was our flag. This is, where is a flag variable here? When it doesn't equal negative 1, we can say, yay, we found it. Out to println. Yay. We found it. It's at and concatenate where. So now we can do something with our code. And of course, we could do something else. We could have an else statement here that does some other thing. That's not as important as this algorithm, right? Once we found the information, then you can do what you need to do with that information and apply some other algorithm. But this is the algorithm that we use here. And there are some slight variations depending on what you do. Maybe you need a count of how many things you found in here uh, instead of a where you found it. All slight tweaks that you can make to this simple yet effective algorithm for finding something in an unordered set. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next one.